morning. This is Alex with Patterns for Pirates. Today we're starting our boho baby doll sew along here in the um, Patterns for Pirates and Made for Mermaids sew along group. I um, wanted to go over a couple of things uh, for the first day because some of you may be new to Patterns for Pirates, some of you may be new to sew along. So um, if you're a, a veteran working with our patterns or you've done this before, feel free to skip over um, the first day video, but I want it, or you can use it as a refresher. So I wanted to show you um, a couple of things about printing the pattern and um, reminders about um, format and everything that should be covered in day one. Today we're focusing on just the pattern and cutting the pattern pieces. Uh, so obviously by this time you probably already purchased your pattern. If not, um, go ahead and grab it and use the code in the Sew Along group. It's pinned in the announcements. Um, open your uh, pattern in Adobe Reader. It's a free program that you can download from the internet. Be sure to open it in Adobe Re Reader. Don't print it from a web browser. Don't print it from Preview or um, any other program. Only in Adobe Reader because it will also show you the layer function here not only that it will give you the most accurate printing so you're gonna go ahead and select the sizes uh, measure yourself prior to doing that and select the size correct um, <clears throat> based on your measurements i'm going to link a um, blog post with how to measure yourself if you need to look over that before you start the process but uh, be sure to take your bust measurement and uh, waist and hips this is a relaxed fit pattern, so um, it will be uh, fitted, but not extremely tight around the breast, around the bust. But then it's super relaxed, so it will. It's not like the boundless that has more of a slimmer fit. It is a like a boho style uh, top or dress, so relaxed through the hips and the waist. So for me, for example, I measure 1x for bust and um, 2x for hips. So on a regular pattern, I would definitely grade uh, between those two. For this particular one, I tend to just print 1x for the, for the top and then do 2x for the uh, skirt part of the, of the pattern, which will mean that I will gather more the skirt than if I were to print just one X. I can get away with just a one X because um, it's a very relaxed fit, but I want to have the intended look of the pattern, which uh, is why I'm grading. So if you're looking to get the pattern to look on you the way it was drafted, the way it's intended, make sure you grade for your bust and cut the proper skirt size. Also, if you're looking for obviously a more uh, slimmer look, you can grade down a size, but you're obviously not gonna end up with the look, the boho look that we, we were going for. So I'm printing one X and I'm going to print just the pages that are for the bodice. And then I'm going to print two X, just the pages for the skirt, because that's how I do it. If you don't wanna print twice and you don't wanna overthink it, like I can just print the one X and two X together all on the same um, um, print and then just cut the lines like I would do normally to to grade uh, the pattern you have quite a few options to choose from I'm going to be doing a dress a short sleeve um, curved hem dress for myself but you can definitely do a top and or a maxi I love the maxi for this is a super uh, nice look and it's so comfortable to wear you can do a tank with bands or you can do sleeves long with ruffles or short so it's all up to you my main idea of, th of today's video is to make sure you open in adobe and to select the sizes you need and grade for the sizes you um, you are if of course you want to get the proper look that uh, we intended with the boho baby doll uh, the high-low 
uh, skirt is given f uh, because the shirt is high low. You will notice that the, the bodice is curved on the front and in the back has a lower curve. So it's a very nice, I love the style of this versus the um, boundless, which is a straight cut at the waist or uh, empire waist. So um, this is what I wanted to cover here. If you're not sure which uh, style you want, go ahead and uh, go on our website and check out the release blog post because we are going through the styles included in there and um, you can pick your favorite. See, the four, uh, this is one of my pictures. <laughs> for um, the children's uh, um, option, I believe you have the same, uh, the same, uh, <clears throat> styles available so cute so go ahead and take a look over those if you're not sure look how beautiful it is with the lace overlay and um, when you're done printing your pattern and um, uh, you're cutting your pattern pieces please post done on the day one thread do not post a picture of the pattern cut because we don't allow pictures of the patterns just post done and that's your check-in for day one and I will see you back here tomorrow for day two when we'll be talking about the fabrics uh, great, that are great for this pattern and we'll also be cutting the fabric. And I'll give you a few tips there too. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.